Hi, today we're talking about the difference of the driver and the irons. And I can see a lot of amateurs are hitting their irons well and all of a sudden they're struggling with their driver or the other way around. A lot of women are really loving their driver but really struggling with their irons. So first of all to say the golf swing stays the golf swing and it won't change. It's one swing but in the end of the day it, there's a difference and it's just the, the question of the intention you have. How do you want to hit the ball, right? So I'm going to start with, an iron, with the iron. I have a nine iron in my hand. So if you watched my video before with the ball position, you know that a nine iron is just a tiny bit ahead of center. But finally, when I'm talking about the intention, how I want to hit the ball, I know, or you should also know, that I want to hit the ball first and then the club comes up. So it's actually ball, ground, and then the, the club goes up again. So I really want to have an iron in my hand, just the material and iron I want to hit onto the ball. So you have to imagine if the club is coming from up, down towards the ground, and I have to let the club hit the ground as well. You know, it doesn't really help if you're pulling on the club because then you're never gonna have any contact with the club. So you actually have to let the club go down towards the ball. So I'll try to show you. Address position, as I explained before, I wanna have my hands in front and I really wanna hit down onto the ball and let the hands go. So there you could have, could have seen that the ball was right here and then the divot starts. So really the lowest point of the club is behind or after the ball. So now I'm taking my driver. So what do I have to do differently with the driver? Of course, many things are changing. First of all, the ball position is way ahead and as I explained before with the ball position the hands are staying in the same position with an, as with a nine iron they're just not um, you know it doesn't look so diagonal as with an iron it's just straight and it's inside of your left thigh again okay so what's happening what a lot of amateurs are doing wrong they take the stance and then they're looking at the ball and what's happening is all of a sudden if I look onto the ball my shoulders start turning my my center is moving to the left and finally of course the shoulders are also open so my whole you know my center is completely left and what's happening then mostly you're coming from the outside and you're cutting the ball. So that's the first focus you should have with your driver to get it in the right intention to hit it up off the tee is you take your stance and you stay centered. If you wanna have your club head at the ball, you have the tool of a little tilt. You go back and the club is moving forward. You are not turning onto the ball. Okay, so what you can see now is all of a sudden my right shoulder is going a little bit lower than the left shoulder. And this is the feeling you want to have. You're standing a little bit more in an uphill position. So, and again, the intention you should have now also is to hit the ball off the tee up into the air. You never want to hit down onto the ball. You don't want to damage the tee or um, you don't even want to touch the tee, right? So in my opinion, this is the breaking point for the most amateurs, how you actually approach the driver. You want to stand still centered. You don't want to turn onto the ball. You want to stay behind the ball, which you automatically, you are once you're just staying centered. I can also see that a lot of people also all of a sudden go to the right foot. And if you're on the right foot, you're way ahead and all of a sudden you start hooking the ball. You don't want to do that either. Okay, so find your center. I just want to go for it like that. And all you want to do is you want to stretch or you want to really straighten your left side and you want to hit up to the ball or the ball off the tee. You don't want to turn around, you want to hit it up. Okay, I'm going to show you. So, of course, now the tee doesn't stay, but it doesn't fly anywhere or anything. It, it's not damaged whatsoever. You have to have the attention. You wanna hit it 
up into the air. And once you do that with your body, you will find, or you will find your left side straighter instead of being turned, okay? So just have that picture. With an iron, you're actually hitting down onto the ball. With the driver, you're hitting up off the tee. So that was really quickly explained. I hope it will help you. If you have any questions, any doubts, just let me know with a comment below. And I'm trying to answer everything. Have fun.